crypto sanctions announced by the United States Treasury. Whoa, this sounds kind of like a wait, what moment? But let's take a look at what's really going on. According to this article that I came across from fxstreet.com, it looks like the Treasury Department has a sniper rifle trained directly at ransomware attacks. If you're not familiar with the term of ransomware, it means that a virus takes control of a computer or system, locks important files, and then forces the person who owns those files to pay a ransom in order to get those files unlocked. Now, it seems with the advent of cryptocurrency, these ransomware attacks are easier to carry out because the payment can be made much more anonymously and digitally through a peer-to-peer -peer network. The article says that the US government wants to deter cyber attackers by imposing sanctions on exchanges that assist in transactions involving cryptocurrency as a result of a ransomware attack. This is apparently one of the ways that it's trying to address the issue because it may not be able to stop every ransomware attack, but it might make the targets uh, less profitable and lucrative, which is really the main defense against these types of attacks. They are carried out for financial reasons. An interesting conclusion to the article is this quote. Ari Redboard, a former Treasury security official, stated that these sanctions would most likely target illicit actors rather than the cryptocurrency technology itself. He believes that digital assets are simply the payment mechanism behind these transactions. Very well said. Cryptocurrency is a tool like any other, like the internet. And it's what we do with it that matters. Follow, like, subscribe, bye.